It wasn't the end of the fairness doctrine. It was the rise of monopolies that snatched our press freedom from us. Check it out. Leave your comments. Ding the bell. Share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Leslie is also in New York, in Central Square, New York. Hey, Leslie, what's up? Hi, Tim. How you doing? Good. Hey, it's on uh, your mind. Since uh, uh, the foundation of our country 260 years ago, uh, right up until uh, Reagan, uh, pretty much, and Clinton, we had freedom of the press. That's what saved us from uh, from uh, Trump or any uh, dictatorship. When the people are able to, even if it's they don't agree on anything, they all get a chance to look at what's out there. Today, you only get one thing, okay? And that's uh, not, you know, you don't get facts, okay, from any of them, any of the news organizations. Between Clinton and, and uh, Reagan, Right on down through, okay, we haven't had freedom of a press since then. And that's a fact. And you know it, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't disagree with you, uh, broadly speaking. And I, and I, but I think we need to make the point that that's not because the Fairness Doctrine is gone. It's because Reagan stopped enforcing the anti-monopoly laws in 83, and the Telecommunications Act of 1996 stopped enforcing the laws uh, that required local ownership and, and prevented... Uh, radio, television, and newspaper monopolies from existing in the United States. And as a consequence, we now have radio, television, newspapers, and increasingly large chunks of the Internet owned by a very, very small handful of companies who are very politically active, have armies of lobbyists, have a very specific point of view, and are, uh, are, are very tight in with, uh, with the GOP.